Hello guys, welcome back to another video on watch addiction, watch reviews. Now today we're taking a look at an offering from Thomas Earnshaw. This is the Buford 8082-02. Um, it kind of has some cool hints, some nice detailing on it, and I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, before getting started, you can save 20 or 30 percent. Use the code WA20 or WA30 at checkout on thomasearnshaw.com. Link in the description below uh, if you want to save some money on some of these watches. But let's get into it. So today we are looking at the Buford. This is actually is on sale, I believe, for 200 pounds, I think it is. But uh, let's start off with some basic specifications here. Quite an interesting watch, interesting dial and everything. So we are looking at a 43 millimeter case diameter here. We are looking at a thickness of just under 15.5 millimeters. We have some nice coin edging on the side here, as you can see, which is pretty reminiscent of Breguet watches. And Breguet watches, you know, they're about, you know, anywhere from like ten to twenty thousand uh, dollars. This being on the cheaper side, about two hundred thirty-six U.S. dollars. Uh, it's a pretty good value for your money, in my opinion, with some of the nice detailing. So we have this nice dial here with guilloching on the dial, as you can see, and that is not hand guilloche, obviously, for the price point. It's probably done by a machine to make the dial, but we do have nice gold applied markers. Our, our Arabics going around the dial. We have a 24 hour sub dial below the 12 o'clock position, your applied Earnshaw logo at 9. A nice open heart here so you can see the balance wheel right here. You can see it's running already, the seconds hand is sweeping, so this is an automatic watch. Now we do have our pull and push crown over here, which is signed with the double E for Earnshaw. Uh, this watch is stated at only 5 ATMs or 50 meters water resistant, so it's okay to get it wet a little bit. You definitely don't submerge it underwater. Now the hands are Breguet styled hands as you can see uh, where they're hollowed out over there. Very legible, uh, especially on this guilloche dial. The dial is actually black, but it's giving off kind of like a bluish hint, uh, which is pretty nice. I, it does this on most of the Earnshaw watches. I believe there's some type of AR coating on this hardened mineral crystal we have here. Now the case is made of stainless steel all around, but it is ionic plated in a gold color. Uh, but the ionic plating looks good. Now ionic plating is not real gold, it's just a gold paint or gold color. So it's not like you're getting real uh, gold, that would be much more expensive. But it definitely looks the part. As you see that coin edging goes all the way around the watch. And it looks pretty good, pretty detailed there. The smooth bezel is highly polished. The top of the lugs are highly polished as well. This is a 22 millimeter lug width. Now you also do get a button here which is quite nice. I believe you can quick set the 24 hour sub dial with that button. Now uh, the movement inside, you can get a glimpse of it, it's actually like a small rotor movement and it has some striping on it as you can see there. I believe it's one of the Japanese automatic movements. These are a whole bunch of different ones. I believe it's a Huang Zhao movement. Um, you know, it's non hackable, it is hand windable, and it's a very simple watch to function. Self winding. And then your first position is to change the time here. So, fairly quite simple to function. Now, the strap it comes on is a genuine leather embossed strap, as you can see here, genuine leather, and Thomas Earnshaw is embossed over here. It's quite a nice strap, and the buckle does match the case as well, and that ionic plating. It, does, uh, it is signed Earnshaw right here, which is pretty cool. Two standard keepers here, and it is fairly supple and flexible straight out of the box. So there's really no break-in period, which is nice. And yeah, it's, uh, it's fairly a simple watch. A lot of details on the dial with the guilloche, as you can see when the light hits it. It's very nice. Just definitely an all-around cool. It's a pretty well-made watch. And I do like they show you the movement through the exhibition case back. And Earnshaw is printed on the back of the crystal, which you can see through right now. I think it looks pretty cool. Anyway, I want to th there is no loom on this watch. Just want to let you guys know. I want to throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist and give you my final conclusion. Here is the Buford on my 6.5 inch wrist. There's a side profile right there. As you can see, it fits quite nice. It is a bit thicker. The buckle is pretty cool as well. As you can see, the buckle says it, it, it looks like an E, which is pretty cool for Earnshaw. And there's the thickness. That's how it fits across my 6.5 inch wrist. 
We have these nice short lugs which come straight out and drop down right at the edge here. But they're very thin on top. I think it just looks very classy. You know, it's a nice dress piece. It's an affordable dress piece. It certainly looks more expensive than it costs, and it's certainly going to catch some eyes uh, if you wear this out and about. Definitely a good uh, affordable option for something like a Breguet automatic dress watch or something of that nature. Just look at that dial. Very cool. I love how you can see the uh, movement from the front with the open heart. You see that going right now. It's pretty cool. You can even see some other portions of the movement over here at the 3 o'clock position. Very cool. So that's pretty much going to sum it up for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, all around, I think, you know, for 200 and I believe around 260 US dollars, I think you're getting an all around well built watch. It's an automatic watch. It looks nice, has a lot of details that you don't see at this price point, and it fits comfortable on this nice 22 millimeter, which tapers down to 20. Uh, genuine leather strap here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, leave me a comment in the section below. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>